hope you guys aren't tired of seeing me eat smoothie bowls in literally all of my vlogs, but I'm not tired of eating them, so there's really no stopping me at this point. <laughs> a ton of you really loved the format of my last college advice video that I just posted a few days ago about things you should not bring to college dorms with you, but because of the climate of the back to school season this year with coronavirus restrictions and a lot more online schooling, I thought it would be helpful to make a non-dorm related video. So this one is going to be all about the college school supplies that you need, whether you're going to be on campus or at home. But before I get into all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my breakfast. So now that I am ready for the day, I wanted to start off by talking about the three most important, most crucial school supplies that you will be needing in college. The first and probably most obvious of which is a reliable laptop or tablet. I have a MacBook 2015 or 16, I believe. Um, I have a case on it. You can tell on the bottom that it's really been through some wear and tear. I probably need to update this um, and I don't even want to know what damage my laptop probably would have endured if it didn't have a case on it. Especially when it comes to all of the online classes that are going to be happening with school nowadays, it's definitely super important to have a reliable computer with reliable internet. Oftentimes, I know that engineering majors will require a PC, but always just check in with your school, see what other students are using, and go from there. My next essential school supply is a planner. Now this could also turn digital if you're someone who really likes your Google Calendar or other planning website on your computer. I don't really know what else is out there because I personally love putting pen to paper. You'll see that as a trend when I'm talking about notebooks and note taking a little bit later in this video, but I love a good paper physical planner that you can open up right in front of you. This specific one is actually a 2020 planner. Um, <laughs> RIP jokes on me, right? Like, I think one of my favorite pages in here when the semester flipped on us last year. Um, yeah, I was a bit upset, but I just picked this up at either a TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Those stores tend to like blend in my brain a lot of the time. I just can't recommend having a planner enough. It comes in so handy when you're in five different classes, getting different due dates and exam dates thrown at you from five different professors. It's always handy to just sit down at the beginning of the semester with all of your syllabi and your planner, write everything out so you can set yourself up for as much success as possible. And equally as important, especially if you're going to be on campus this semester, is having a sturdy backpack. Um, it can be really tempting to go buy like a cute, fashionable backpack or like a one shoulder bag or something, but trust me, you are probably going to be walking a ton, carrying heavy textbooks, carrying your laptop, your planner, all your other notebooks and school supplies. So you're gonna want a backpack you can trust that won't break your back while you're walking around campus. This one is a High Sierra. I've used it all throughout college and it's still holding up great. It has a lot of cushioning and supportive straps. However, before I continue on talking about all the other essential school supplies you need in college, I'm actually gonna head over to Target. All right, we have arrived at the motherland of back to school shopping. I just felt weird saying that, but like, we all know it's true. Um, the reason I've brought you all here to Target is because, well, honestly, I'm a huge proponent. Oh wait, can you even see me? I'm a big proponent of reusing school supplies that are still in good condition. And since I'm going into my senior year of college, I do have a good amount of notebooks and pens, not to mention that a lot of it is actually being stored in Milwaukee over the summer right now. I'm probably not really gonna be buying very many things, but I didn't want this entire video to just be me sitting in my room 
talking about school supplies that I didn't actually have with me on hand, so I figured it would be more fun if I just brought you guys to Target and did like a mock school supply shopping trip, walk you guys through what I would look for if I was going school supply shopping in Target right now. So anyway, I feel like I kind of over explained that, but let's just get to the point and go inside. <laughs> Before I take us all the way back over to the school supply shop, I'm actually going to go through the office supply section. I actually do most of my school supply shopping in this section because it has a lot more adult things um, and less of like the elementary, middle school type of stuff. First things first, notebooks. It can't get more obvious than college ruled. This is honestly essential because you're able to fit so much more on a page than with a wide ruled notebook. And I would also really recommend getting subject notebooks for college. Three and five subject notebooks were one of those things that I didn't realize just how practical they were until after my first semester of college. I was able to split up the note taking for three of my classes into this this one notebook. You could definitely do the same with a five subject notebook so you just have one big notebook for all of your classes and it's less stuff to carry around with you. Also you can generally find pretty solid and honestly cuter planners in this section as well. Pencils are a pretty obvious essential but I will say that I generally only end up using them for exams. However that's also personal preference because I know a ton of people that do like to write their notes with pencil but my handwriting always smudges on the page so that's why I just prefer using pen. By the way almost all mechanical pencils do work on Scantron paper for exams now so no worries about having to bring any of those pencils that need sharpening. Besides the generic blue and black pens which by the way these ones are my favorite but I have pretty low standards it's also pretty good to have at least some colored pen options. This is kind of an extreme example and wait where are my favorite ones? These are the ones that I use Use, so they're a little bit different than gel pens, but again, it's just up to personal preference and what you think you'll end up liking best on your notes. I always get asked about the little mini highlighters that I always use in my planner, so they are these guys from UB and I love all of the different color options, so I can always color code my classes with them. If you go the route of stocking up on multiple colored writing utensils, one other thing I highly recommend you get is a pencil pouch. This one is actually a makeup a bag that I got at a Marshalls but it honestly does the job and that way you just have less of a mess in your backpack and you know exactly the place where you can find all of your writing utensils without fishing around through your bag. When it comes to folders and binders, I'm actually not the biggest binder fan, but that is more of a personal preference, and I know that a lot of people do love using binders with loose leaf paper. However, I will say that if you are a fan of binders, you won't necessarily need one for every single one of your classes, and instead probably only bring two or so, and then use dividers to separate each of your classes and the notes within them. But if you go that route, don't forget to bring a three-hole punch. because I I don't like binders, I do end up using folders that I color code, one for each class, and sometimes I end up having classes where I don't end up getting as many handouts as expected, so then I'll just hold on to the folder and reuse it a later semester. Sharpies, whiteout, tape, and scissors can all be really handy things to have, especially for dorm life and keeping at your desk, but honestly none of these are essential for class, so you won't necessarily be bringing them to lectures with you. Also don't mind me while I go put all of these back. <laughs> One thing that I cannot recommend enough though is a stapler. I have one that is this size, but a mini one like this would fit great in your backpack. It's really handy when you're handing in papers or other assignments and you also become instant friends with everyone around you because no one else would think to bring a stapler in their backpack. Guys, what I would give to be able to go dorm shopping all over again I'm telling you, I wish I could just go back and relive those moments before freshman year and all that excitement before I knew what was in store. When it comes to calculators, there are two different types you should know about. Graphing calculators and scientific calculators. These honestly are the ones that I have used most in college and 
they're pretty cheap. Um, a lot of my exams actually only allow us to use these type of calculators because the graphing calculators are programmable and they don't want any cheating. However, if you're going to be an engineering or math major, this is probably an essential. But as a science major who never had to take a calculus class in college, I'd have never actually had to use this kind. keep having to bounce around the back to school supply section because it's so much more crowded here. Not to mention you guys are currently perched on a pink sequin lunch bag. Index cards and post-it notes are also things that are nice to have in college but not necessarily necessary. Um, index cards are great for studying. If you know that you like to write out words and use this as a study method, then buy a ton. If not, probably one pack is enough just for like the odd moment where you do need them. And then post-it notes, I actually really love using to leave reminders around for myself, um, whether I stick them on my laptop, in my planner, but again, they're not exactly a necessity. And then I didn't know whether or not I should talk about Expo markers because they weren't on my original list, but I may as well mention them. If you're going to be on campus and you're going to have access to the library and whiteboards, I absolutely love using Expo markers and whiteboards as a study method. I personally love being able to write out when I study and so this is a great way to be able to study with a group of friends um, and it's always nice to be the person that has a couple extra Expo markers in your backpack. I brought a bunch of paper clips and binder clips with me to school freshman year and honestly in three years I've barely used either of them so don't waste your money. All right, I just stopped to grab a ruler so I could show it for the vlog, but like, what is this? Like, kids these days are getting these like fancy as heck. I, what? And don't even get me started on these. I honestly, I can't even believe they're still a thing. Okay, but um, how cute is all of this? Like these mugs and these little fans and like the stationary reusable straws. Like, I'm obsessed. The technology section was a little too loud for vlogging, so yes, I am currently in the kids department, but I wanted to talk about headphones. At first I felt a little silly mentioning this as a school supply, but honestly they can really come in handy when you're studying in a public place like the library, or especially this year if you're going to be doing online school at home, it's probably going to be important to get some noise cancelling headphones. I know I said I probably wouldn't end up buying anything today, but I am going to get this whiteboard. These are the kind of backpacks I was warning you guys about earlier because they are so cute, but trust me when I say they will break your back. Whiteboard acquired and I'm heading home. Uh, no, thank you. Could I please get a, a medium caramel iced coffee with cream, no sugar? And then- Medium iced coffee, caramel, cream, no sugar? Yes, please. Thanks. They're starting to sound off tornado warnings and I just gotta have a good day. Well, clearly I ended up stopping at Dunkin' Donuts. Also, I really regret wearing makeup under my mask because that's gross. Gonna have to wash this as soon as I get home. Um, picked up my usual caramel cream, no sugar, iced coffee because I was parched from talking so much in Target and the Starbucks in that Target, of course, was closed. Um, did they add caramel to this? I really can't tell. Anyways, as I was about to pay for that, Hello. And of course, as I'm about to get my coffee, my phone started going berserk because of a tornado warning. You can probably even hear the sirens right now as I'm speaking. And it looks like it's going to start pouring rain. So I'm gonna head home, probably end the vlog here. Um, eventually there is going to be a part two to this video about textbooks and my tips on where to get them, how to rent, buy, sell them, etc. Um, I was planning on doing that later today, but 
since it looks like we're going to be dealing with downpour like you guys can see the dark clouds behind me I'm gonna put that off a little bit longer however I hope you guys liked this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up down below go into the comments let me know your feedback and of course subscribe if you aren't already if you're going to be an incoming freshman or you're going to be a senior like me or even if you're post-grad and you're just wanting to relive your college experiences I'm going to be vlogging all of the coronavirus school semester stuff that's going to be happening since I am going back on campus this semester and the sky is getting darker and darker as I speak so I'm gonna drive home before something bad happens. Bye guys, see you next time.